What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so, I'm not going to lie guys, I am a little, nah, nah, I lie, I can't lie to you guys. I am very, very angry, very frustrated I should say. I am angry over the fact that, eh, shit went down, and I have to redo things again. So, I had originally planned to come out with the Cinnabar Gym Battle on a Saturday. No, came out with it on a Sunday. And uh, while I was doing this whole recording, this rendering for my videos and all that stuff, I took a look and uh, where was the Viridian Battle? Do not know. Two things could have happened. My dumbass could have deleted the, or accidentally deleted the video, or this is probably the highly likely one. I probably forgot to push the record button. Yeah. So, as you can tell, I yeah, I'm not I'm not too happy with that. So, what happened afterwards was that, you know, I, after a day I could have spent, you know, recording other videos like Ruby and Silver and all that stuff, it was spent on redoing this whole uh, gym leader castle. I had to restart it again and I had to battle everybody to get to Giovanni right here. Mainly because I don't want to skip Giovanni. You guys come to my channel for a very, very good reason, and that's because I, you know, hopefully I provide quality videos right here, and I don't skip on the, the Pokemon trainers and all that stuff. So that's exactly what I did, and yes, with the help of very of a very specific Pokemon, I got there. Believe it or not, guys, it took me about two hours to complete this whole thing. Uh, I got beat once, and obviously it was at <laughs> it was at Blaine's castle. Because Blaine has some pretty good Pokemon trainers. And obviously, we're going to be going to Giovanni's. This is my fifth attempt right here, guys, to get to beat Giovanni. Trust me, he is no joke. During this whole video, I am going to tell you how he beat me. Because it was... Yeah, the PokeGuard's RCS is not happy with me and all that stuff. So, yeah. Now, here's another thing, too. Since... This gym likes to use legendary Pokemon. I might as well use legendary Pokemon myself. So, here we go, guys. We're going up against Giovanni's gym. Obviously, he's got a trainer Rocket, a trainer Lab Man, and a trainer Cool, which is a cool trainer, and Giovanni's dumbass self. Like I said, he likes to use legendary Pokemon in his team. Well, not him, particularly. His trainers do. So, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to fight fire with fire with our good old buddy Frieza, aka Mewtwo. Now, before you guys start, you know, before you guys start complaining about, oh, well, you're using legendary Pokemon. That's not fair. You went through this. You didn't even use them in any of your walkthroughs. Well, guess what? I did. I used them in Leaf Green during that special. Okay? But it's this gym right here, and this is the fifth time I'm doing it. <sighs> against this gym leader. Didn't even use Mewtwo, trust me, didn't even use him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the two most broken Pokemon just to breeze through this guy because I am sick and tired of losing to these guys. <sighs> okay, so that's me just venting guys, I'm very very sorry, but no, it had to be said. It had to be said because, uh, you know, you, you, you do so much and all of a sudden, bam, you get, you get screwed over, just like that. So. That's exactly what's going to happen right here. We're going to just kick some butt, take names and everything else in between. So, let's see. What's another Pokemon I can use against this gym? This gym right here is loaded with some Pokemon that, you know, could screw you over. Uh, I would like to use Nessie. Yeah, you know what? Let's use Nessie. <sighs> okay, so here we go. Going up against Rocket. And he does have a Moltres himself, so... This is a very good time to use a specific Pokemon for this whole specific battling, okay? He does have a Golbat, Moltres, a uh, Parasect. That Persian right there is the freaking tits because it does have a high attack. So what's going to happen is I'm going to unleash hell onto these guys right here. So there we go, there we go. You guys already know what Pokemon I'm going to be using right now. Let's go ahead and just destroy everybody. So here it is, guys. Frieza, a.k.a. Mewtwo. And we're going up against Moltres. Of course, Moltres is a legendary Pokemon himself. Not so fast. But it is very, very tanky when it comes to the special side. Here's a Dark Kamehameha attack. And as you can see... Not a lot of HP has been taken, but here comes a toxic attack. And we are badly poisoned. Now, if there's anything we know about Mewtwo is that it is a super powerful Pokemon in Generation 1. 
That is, that is why it's not used so much. But good for us that we do have this right here because, of course, the special falls. And we're getting hurt by poison. And here it is. Going up high. It's okay. The good thing about Mewtwo is that he's more tankier than Alakazam. If there was any weakness to L... Oh, fuck. Yes, we are fast. God damn. Never mind. Should have used barrier. So we're getting hit twice right here. So here comes a fly attack from this flame head. And it is a critical hit. Bull crap. Okay. Psychic attack. If there's any Pokemon we need to defeat with a psychic attack, it's this. And here we go. Suck on this lemon. And luckily for us, after this turn, we don't get hurt by poison, so we could use a recover attack. So let's go right ahead and bring him out. Bring him out, bring him out. Here comes a Dodrio. Okay. He said Dodrio? I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go with a Psychic Attack. I already have Pokemon that can defeat this guy quickly. So let's go with the Mewtwo's Kamehameha attack right here. And there goes Dodrio. And we're gonna get hit with Poison. Yes, we're gonna get beaten. But you know what? Dodrio, or Mewtwo, has served his purpose getting through this whole... Uh, what's him call it? This, uh, this uh, Moltres right here. So, you see? It's not cheating. It's not completely cheating, guys. It's just me complaining because... Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I'm a little wound up because of what had happened. Very wound up. Now, let me tell you the story of what happened when we took on Giovanni the second time. It is going to be funny to you guys right here, okay? So, after finding out that we uh, we kind of missed out on a, a recording, we went, you know, we... You know, we kind of re-recorded, or not re-recorded, but went through the whole thing. With Mewtwo and all that stuff. And, uh, well, what ended up happening was that I got through the whole gym, the Viridian gym, while I was recording. And here we are going up against Giovanni. There I was, ready to just kick some ass, and he comes out with a friggin' Tauros. A friggin' Tauros. And you know what that friggin' Tauros did? First move, okay? First move. Throws in a freaking blizzard attack onto my Nido King, and what ends up happening? First attack, frozen. Yeah, and then after that, Nido King gets beat, and I come out with Ultra Psycho, and this this asshole of a bull Pokemon was just molly whopping my Pokemon. He beat two out of the three Pokemon, and then the third Pokemon ends up just trying to beat the crap out of this guy, and this guy uses a body slam attack just for added measure. Okay? And paralyzes my last Pokemon. Right before it dies, paralyzes my Pokemon. You see? If I'm going down, you're going down with me. So, what could have been another video where I could have easily defeated Giovanni. Nope, it turned out to be the worst case scenario. That's right. So, we defeated the first trainer. Mewtwo dies. That's funny. But it's okay. And we're gonna go up against the Lab Man right now. Okay. Lab Man. Not Batman. Lab Man. And, well, we're gonna be going up against the Lab Man right here. And he does have some pretty tanky Pokemon. I already know what to do with these guys. Again, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with that. And I just said for added measure. Take away the weakness. Let's go with this guy right here. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it does sound. It does sound like you know. Yeah, I am. I am aggravated. I am very, very aggravated over the fact of what happened. I mean, I try being a very. Uh, well, when it comes to YouTube videos, guys, I try to be as very specific as possible. I know that there are some other videos right here where, like, you know, I just randomly don't do any backgrounds or this or that transitions or whatnot. Sometimes because of laziness or whatnot, but I can, when it comes to the recording of the videos, I tend to be very specific of where to put these videos at. Now, how it slipped my mind about this Giovanni video, I don't know. I probably did record it. Who knows? I probably did record it. It's just that, you know, I may have accidentally deleted it. I don't know what happened, but it slipped my mind, and I am sorry about that. I am complaining a lot. It is okay. And here comes a Lickitung, and wow, this scenario just seems so familiar. Yeah, from the first time. Let's go with a Psychic Attack. Do not worry, because we got Mewtwo. And, uh, well, here we go. Psychic Attack. Destroy this guy. 
Well, it is a tanky Pokemon. Here comes a Slam Attack. Yes, and it might hit me because the last time it didn't hit me, and it missed. Okay, so this is the same scenario in my last attempt, where they low they they use Screech Attack for Ultra Psycho, and Lick a Tongue miss. I hit it. Holy crap! A strange sense of deja vu is just hitting me right now. It's hilarious. So there goes a Lick Lickety. And uh, now we're going to be going up against whoever Pokemon he chooses next. And, yep, he didn't use Kabutops. And this guy, I've never actually battled Kabutops. I could be wrong. And, well, here comes a Psychic Attack. More than likely this Kabutops might survive it. No, it's a critical hit. And it didn't survive. Complete sweep. That's right. Okay, alrighty, so I didn't necessarily need uh, Mewtwo for this one, but look at that. Complete sweep. Okay, alrighty, Lab Man has been defeated. Now we're going up against the Cool Trainer. This is where it gets interesting, because this guy does have a nice team. He does have a Zapdos. And, yes, Clefable and Pinsir. Obviously, I'm going to be using a legendary Pokemon myself, because fuck it. And just to steer away from the weakness, let's go. Hmm. Let's go with this, okay? I I have total confidence that my Pokemon will win, so here we go, Mewtwo. Alrighty, and here he comes out with a Zapdos. You see, guys, it's not necessarily a bad thing for me to use a quote-unquote legendary Pokemon while they're using it. So, let's go right ahead and use a Kamehameha attack. Eat this. And there goes its special. So now, one more hit and we will beat it. And this guy, of course, is trying to slow me down. And, well, it's probably the only way you can actually beat Mewtwo is by slowing it down. So, let's go with another Psychic attack. And here comes a fly. Okay. Alrighty. So, yes. Fully paralyzed. Good thing, good thing this Pokemon, good thing Mewtwo's not Alakazam because this fly attack would have actually beaten it. So here comes a fly attack. And we take a nice amount of damage right there. So here we go. Psychic attack. Finish him. Oh yes, Frieza destroying everybody. Now why didn't I nickname this Pokemon? Didn't necessarily nickname the Pokemon or Mewtwo Frieza until Leaf Green, so yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that's something right there. Didn't didn't necessarily uh, figure that out. So here we go, going up against a Dodrio. And, well, let's go with the Psychic Attack. You know, I am very, very tempted of using... Uh, what was it? Uh, well, I am very tempted of using Barrier, but look at this. A Body Slam, a critical hit. Good gravy. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. Why? Because, eh, well, you know, it's powerful as fuck. So here we go, Ultra Psycho, ready to kick some butt. Here we go, Psychic Attack. We're faster. We are faster, so here it is, Psychic Attack. Finish him! And that right there takes a huge chunk out of his HP, so we're just going to have to endure one more Body Slam right here. And luckily for us, we are not paralyzed, we just take a huge hit. So, let's go with the Psychic Attack for the win! Finish him! Oh yeah, look at that. For the win! Okay, alrighty, so there goes Dodrio. Now we got one more Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Pinsir. No, it's a Tentacruel. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with the Psychic Attack. Let's finish this guy off. Whatever happens here, we probably will win, so let's go, Psychic Attack. Critical hit. Eat shit, Tentacruel. Eat shit. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So that's three down, and we got one more to go. And I'm ready for this guy, because he's going to come out with his goddamn Tauros. There it is. Bam. Okay, alrighty. Not necessarily happy, guys. Again, I'm doing this out of revenge. Hoping with a lot, you know, all that crud. So here it is, the gym battle, the gym leader, Giovanni. And look at this team. Pretty nice team. Now, before we go into this battle right here, 
there is one thing I need to fucking convey into you guys right here is that even though he does have Tauros, he does have uh, three other horned Pokemon. And that should be a big giveaway right there. Giovanni does have Fissure. He does have Horn Drill. There's no Guillotine right here, but he does have one-hit KO moves. Be aware of that, guys, because if you get through his Tauros or Persian, then you're going to have to face up against his horned Pokemon, and more than likely, it's a one-hit KO kind of deal. So, let's go right ahead and just destroy these guys. Let's just mollywop the crud out of these guys. So, let's go... Of those guys, that guy, and well, let's see. Let's see. Who is the right Pokemon for this job? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna go with Nessie right here. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Giovanni himself. Like I said, in our second attempt, this guy literally used a goddamn Tauros with a blizzard. And right now, he is going to be using a Persian. It is very, very high on attack. So... Very high on attack and speed, so just be aware of that. Let's go. Kamehameha attack. Critical hit. Eat shit, Persian. Eat shit. You see, the boot is on the other foot right now. The boot is on the other foot, or the, the shoe is on the other foot. Whatever, I don't care. I'm doing this for Gary. Remember, he used armored Mewtwo to get his butt kicked? Now I'm doing this for Gary, even though I don't necessarily like him. So, here we go. Psychic attack. Now, again, Horned Pokemon does have a Fissure attack, Horn Drill attack, what have you. And this guy right here, going for an Earthquake attack here. Bam. And that is a critical hit. Jesus criminy. Mewtwo, come on. <sighs> okay, alrighty, alrighty. I do have Nessie. You know what? Let's use Nessie right now, okay? It's Battle of the Slows. I do have a type advantage. Chances are he might be using Toro, so let's just save Ultra Psycho for the ending right here. Let's go, Surf Attack. Please be faster. Please be faster. Yes, we are faster. Eat shit. Let's go. Surf Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Rhydon. I am the victor. All right, who's next? Who is next in the on the list right here? And he is coming out with a Duck Trio. So this guy is a little faster than us. All right, I can feel it. I can win. I am victorious, and damn it, he's using Dig. So right here, this is a. Uh... Okay, so this could work, but I think Nessie is weak against ground type moves. So let's just hope that you know. It's tankiness can tank this this hit right here. So here we go, dig attack. Not super effective, but we do tank it. All right, finish it. Surf attack for the win. Yeah, buddy, get soaked. Throwing out that peace sign, suck a dick, Giovanni. Woo! All righty, okay. There it is, I'm happy. You see, Mewtwo wasn't <laughs> it wasn't such a big factor after all, it just needed to get through this guy. Okay. So there it is, guys. We defeated Giovanni and all gym leaders. Now, this is what happens. That's right, guys. So we opened the gate to the last castle, and we are going to be taking on the Elite Four. Plus the champion. Now I probably, uh, yeah, I probably said this in the last episode. This might be a two-parter. Actually, no, it's probably going to be, uh... I'm probably going to be doing a whole one-parter on this thing right here because it's four trainers plus the champion. Now, the deal with the champion is this, guys. Uh, if I remember correctly from the last time I did Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon Stadium, I... You know, I, I thought that my game would be pro my, my progress game would be saved right at the point where we got to the champion, so we can make it a you know a two part episode. Turns out it didn't, and then I had to do the same thing: use Mewtwo and get to this guy right here. So, in this episode, this next episode, we will be going through the Elite Four. Obviously, Lorelai, my girlfriend right there. You got uh, Bruno. You got uh, mm, Agatha. You got Lance, and of course, you got Gary himself, which is a variety of Pokemon. So. Stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. Yes, we will be taking on the Elite Four, and hopefully, just hopefully, we win on the first attempt. See you guys. And by the way, by the way, guys, 
I do apologize for all the cussing and all that stuff, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you... When you're a perfectionist and all that stuff. So again, sorry for all the cussing, guys. See you guys.